Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's project is a gift, actually. Uh, last year, my brother, he has hosted this guy's trip up to Pennsylvania for trout fishing and just hanging out and having a good time. So I went last year and I had a blast, and the project I'm making now are some landing nets uh, for Christmas gifts for them. So to start, I purchased a plan. I didn't want to waste any time trying to come up with my own designs. Uh, I purchased a plan off of woodsmithplans.com uh, and they were very detailed. So now the first thing I have to do is make the uh, fixture, the jig, for gluing up the lamination. So here I'm just taking some MDF that I had in my shop sitting against the wall forever and uh, I was able to blow these plans up on my copier at work. And here I'm just breaking down the MDF, uh, the large panel that I have, into a couple of different pieces for the glue ups. Like I said, this uh, this is pretty straightforward. I did some bent lamination years ago uh, for my kid's crib. My wife wanted a round crib, so I bent uh, some red oak for that. Uh, but for this one, I chose a couple of different uh, species. I went with uh, maple and walnut and maple and cherry, some nice hardwoods. And they came out beautiful. So here I just have the pattern. I've got this spray adhesive. You just spray the MDF and you spray the back of the pattern and it simply adheres to what you need to work with. Now I am going to retain uh, both pieces that I cut off because one is going to be the inner guide and one will be the outer guide. And I do want them to be a mirror image of each other. Uh, that's why I'm using some carpet tape to attach both pieces together and then cut them out once and shape them at once. Uh, you'll see a little later I did go a little crazy. I did use three pieces of carpet tape and man this stuff is strong. I had quite a hard time getting these uh, separated later. But now off to the bandsaw just to cut that form. I do need some new guides for my bandsaw. It's seen better days. But once all that's cut out, we can get over to the next step. All in all, I believe this, just putting this jig together took me about a weekend. I worked Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I believe. So here I'm just shaping after cutting it to make sure that everything is right to that line. And that handle I will be cutting off later. Uh, because there is a solid handle that goes in, not a bent lamination for the handle. Now here I moved over to my drill press and I'm going to put a series of holes. Now the holes are going to be so when I do have all the thin strips cut and in the form, I'll be able to uh, put my clamps and the clamps will have something to, to hold on to. So I'm just spacing these out. I think it's every two and a half inches or so. And uh, once they're all marked off, I'll load a Forstner bit in my drill press and just make the cut through both pieces of MDF. And I've got a piece of plywood underneath just to avoid any blowout or tearing. Yeah, I do have to set up some sort of dust collection on this uh, drill press. That'll be one of my future projects. So now that the inner form is cut and drilled out I'm going to just cut a large piece for the base uh, that that piece we mounted to and again this is just scrap MDF that I had laying around it's nice when it works out and you don't have to go out and purchase anything and when using the radial solar radial arm saw you have to make sure that you do have that blade all the way down Thank you. 
And now with that piece cut to length and width, I'm going to put some angles and this will just give the clamps a better place to, to uh, grip from. Once everything's marked out, I'm just going to cut this out with the jigsaw. And this is just a fixture, it doesn't have to be perfect, that's why I'm just going through it quick. Using this form, I was able to cut enough strips uh, to make four four landing nets. I only bent and glued and finished three at the time though. But the good thing is, now that I have this fixture, anytime somebody wants one, I can just cut some thin strips, glue it up, and it's good to go. And here I'm just marking off where those inner guides will have to be placed with a nice center line. Oh, here you can see I had to bust out a few chisels to relieve that carpet tape. I was actually nervous I was going to snap one of these halves, but luckily after a bit of fussing it was able to come apart. And then with the center line marked on both sides, simply going to drill and countersink some wood screws. Once I'm happy with the way everything is sitting, I'll just add some simple tight bond glue just to hold it in place. Uh, the MDF I'm using is just 3 quarter inch MDF, so just standard sizing there. So I will have to, once both these pieces are installed, I'm going to bore out the center holes a little bit deeper, uh, just so my clamps will have a better, better grip. So I'm just setting a, a stop depth gauge on that drill press, and I'm just going to go back and run those holes. Uh, just so there's no problem with the clamps. And here I'm just temporarily uh, taping the handle section back to the form uh, just so I can get the uh, outer clamping guides made. Uh, so this is the piece, the what the leftover piece that I originally cut. Uh, I'm going to be laminating five strips. So I just took the thickness of those five strips, then ran that on my compass, uh, and then cut and shaped that inner um, dimension out. And here I'm just cutting that large uh, glue up section into several pieces so it'll make it easier to go around the forms. And again, I'm just cutting it with the, uh, the jigsaw. So I try to keep my videos about 10 to 12 minutes long. Uh, so this is going to have to be a two-part video. 
At the next video, I will show you the process of me cutting down the maple, walnut, and cherry, and actually building and finishing the nets. Here I'm just hitting the jig with uh, some sandpaper, and then I will take it over for a bit of finishing. Now it was suggested from the plans that you uh, hit it with a few coats of poly, which I thought was odd. I've never polyed MDF before. Um, and then put a few coats of paste wax to make sure that when you do glue up the lamination it doesn't actually stick to uh, to the jig. But what I ended up doing was I did all of this but I was still nervous that the lamination would stick to the to the jig while it was glued up overnight. So I just put painter's tape over everywhere that the lamination would be uh, so that if it did stick to anything it stuck to the painter's tape and that was easy to sand off. Well, I hope you enjoyed this part one. Uh, I know you'll probably be very eager to watch part two where I actually build and uh, assemble the nets. Uh, so please stay tuned. I will have that for release next week. And as always, I really appreciate everybody watching. Uh, if you do like what you see, I will be planning to do a lot more projects this coming year. So please subscribe if you, if you like to. Thanks again.